Look, Ma! I'm making a thing! And a happy Saturday to you, too! Hello, my fellow Fat Kid Friendly Folk! Yes, um... It has been two weeks since I posted anything. Um, as you can see, this culprit right here was why I didn't post last week. Because it was a cold sore. I have the old herp lip happening in my life. And it was so swollen. It, it looked like I had been stung by a bee. It was so bad. And I couldn't, um, drooling. Ugh. Um, I couldn't, like, eat hardly. I couldn't drink anything, like, by putting on my mouth, I had to eat every... I don't eat out of a straw. I had to drink everything out of a straw. Even my morning coffee. Like, it was the weirdest thing. Who drinks hot coffee with a straw? Anyway. But, it's much better. It still looks kind of wicked, but that's just a scab as gross as that sounds. It's still kind of, kind of scabby. So, update on that. It is getting better. Thank God. It was pretty wicked. So, I did not post last week. And then this week has been a little bit stressful. If you, um... If you follow me on Snapchat, then you will know why. Um, it's just been a little bit of a crazy week. But I don't want to talk about that right now. Because today, we're going to do a Halloween Pinterest DIY. And what I've decided I want to start calling these is a Pinter tempt. Okay? We are a tempting Pinterest. Pinter tempt. That's the best I could come up with, okay? Okay. So, what I'm going to be making today, and thus far, I'm very slobbery right now. <laughs> thus far, this particular pin, I haven't, I don't think I've seen anybody, well, the major people that I follow um, that do these, I haven't seen, I haven't seen this one yet. There's a couple that I was going to do, and then I've seen other people already make them. I'm like, well, great. There goes my idea, because if I do it, they're just going to think that I'm copying you guys. And I don't want to be like that. So, I'm going to do this one. I have, um, the one that we're doing is the melting crayons on a pumpkin thingy. And insert photo here. That's the one that we're going to be doing, and it calls for, I think, either you can do a real pumpkin, which I don't know why, or you can do a fake pumpkin, which is what I'm going to do. And I think they want a ceramic pumpkin. I'm going to be honest. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I have not really read the full instructions on this. I looked at a bunch of pictures. But hey, it looks pretty simple, so... We're going to go with our good old gut instinct on this and hope that it's not a complete fail. But I did find this one because I think it wanted a ceramic pumpkin and I could not find a ceramic pumpkin that didn't already have some sort of design on it that wasn't a cookie jar or like a serving dish. Who has pumpkin serving dishes? I mean, I don't have dishes specifically for holidays. I just... You get the plate that I've got. I'm sorry, okay? I got it when I was 12. It has the Little Mermaid on it. You're gonna have to deal with it. But I did find this. This thing right here at good old Target. And um, it's like cardboard. It's just a design of pumpkin. And I thought that would be really cool for what we're gonna do. Because, you know, you got your box of crayons. And no, I did not. Oh, it's got the little button in the back. Even the cheap brand has the sharpener. My ADD is on the fritz right now. I've had a lot of sugar. Haven't I? I had waffles. My breakfast lunch was waffles today. But, um, I didn't spring for the Crayolas, so hopefully these will work. But I was not about to waste no Crayolas on something that might be a complete fail. I 
don't know what I just did. Just opened the bottom of it. I was like, why am I staring at a sharpener and not crayons? Because you opened the wrong end, stupid. I know typically you're probably just gonna do the colors of the rainbow on this thing, which is our good friend Roy G. Biv. I'm gonna pick out some colors and then put them in their perspective. Actually, I have to peel all these first. So we're gonna take a brief break while I go through and peel the ones that I'm gonna use. And we'll be right back. Oh my God, that took so long to get these stupid papers off of these crayons. And some of them did not want to come off. There is so much crayon residue under my fingernails. It is ridiculous. I'm gonna try to change this angle so you can see what I'm doing. Because right now, all you're gonna do is see me hovering a hair dryer over nothing. And that's not gonna show anything. So let me readjust my camera so you can, I guess, watch this unfold. I hope this works. I hope you'll be able to see everything that I'm doing, given what I have to work with here. This is the best I can do at the moment, to where I can still kind of see what I'm looking at on camera. As you can see over here, I have my lovely shavings and mess and all the ugly colors that are left behind. But what we're gonna do is, I think I'm gonna do this on low, because I don't want to just like blow the crayons across the room. I really just don't think that'll work out in my favor. So I'm going to turn this on. It's going to be loud when this is on, so I won't be able to say a whole lot during that time. Um, I'll also turn the volume down during that or silence it. I haven't got that far yet, but I'll make sure you're not just listening to a hair dryer going off, okay? so. Let me um, turn this on. Ah! As you can see, that didn't work. So I'm guessing you're supposed to glue them. Is that what they're wanting? Do they want me to glue them? That's what I'm gonna do. Let me get my hot glue gun and we're gonna glue these bad boys. Now everything is glued down, so hopefully it won't move. I'm sure you're probably supposed to tape it. I don't want to tape it. I wanted to glue it. I don't craft that took so long I have a finished product I have this I just kick the tripod but I have this lovely I don't know what you want to call it <laughs> um, I don't I mean I don't like absolutely hate it I'm not saying it's terrible, it's just not great. And as you can see, like some of the colors, like see how these melted really well, like nice and smooth and stuff. And then you get over here and they're very like blotchy. Like, I don't know, they melted very, very strangely. But that's what's left on top. I tried to kind of make it look like the, um, the little leaf thingies that are, that are on top of a pumpkin. So, um, there's so much wax, like, everywhere. And of course, like, this side, a lot of it's empty, so I might try to go back and fill some of that in. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how this one turned out. It's, it's okay, like I said, I don't hate it, but I 
don't think I would ever do this ever again. That took so long with a hair dryer. If you're going to do a crayon melty project, get yourself like a heat dry heat thing. I don't know what they're called. What are they called? A heat? I don't know. A heat gun. Is that it? I could be wrong. Anyway, don't use a blow dryer. It makes the worst mess ever. So just thumbs down. Like, 8 out of 10 would not recommend doing the whole blow dryer thing. It's ridiculous. But, um, even though we ended up with this catastrophe of a pumpkin, bit a little, I do hope that you guys enjoyed watching me fail at a Pinterest pin for Halloween. And now I have a jacked up jack-o'-lantern to put out for display. And if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It does help us out more than you realize it. Share this also with all your friends, family, loved ones, and let all the trick-or-treaters that come to your house let you know that you watch Fat Kid Friendly. I'm sure they'll appreciate it too, as much as the rest of them. And I do hope that you guys have a fantastic evening. Bye.